Hey guys, Derek here from Modern Castle. Roborock designs and builds several different robot vacuums, including their flagship S6, S5, and S5 Max. But which is best for your home? Let's go ahead and find out now. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to keep up with the latest videos every week. Today we'll be highlighting the Roborock S and Roborock E series. Specifically, the S4, S5, S5 Max, S6, and S6 Max V, in addition to the E25 and E35. In general, all of these robot vacuums have similar design, build quality, and specs. Roborock's S series robots are the higher end, have more features, and are more expensive. Roborock's E series are more budget friendly, but lack some of the more advanced features. We're going to cover each of these models in greater detail. But before we dive into that, we wanted to hit on some of the biggest differences between each of the models. All S-Series robots include digital mapping, whereas the E-Series robots do not. S-Series robots also include more advanced navigation compared to the E-Series, with the obstacle avoidance on the S6 Max V being the most advanced system. All Roborock models double as both a mop and a vacuum, except the S4, which can only vacuum. The E-Series robots have the biggest dust bins at 640 milliliters. S-Series robots range from 460 to 480 milliliters. The S5 Max has the largest mopping reservoir, almost twice as big as the others. Check the link in the description if you're interested in buying any of the products we're featuring today. The Roborock S6 Max V is the most advanced robot Roborock makes. With the new technology for obstacle detection AI and front-facing cameras, the S6 Max V is arguably the best navigating robot vacuum on the market. The Roborock S6 is similar to the Max V with advanced navigational features and specific room cleaning, although it lacks the obstacle avoidance systems. It does have the ability to mop and it can run for up to 150 minutes. The Roborock S5 Max is a two-in-one robot vacuum mop combo that prioritizes mopping performance. The S5 Max has most of the same features as the S6. However, it's louder and has a slightly smaller dustbin. In exchange for that, you get a water tank that's more than double the size at 290 milliliters. The larger water reservoir allows the S5 Max to mop huge areas while still functioning as a more than capable robot vacuum cleaner. The Roborock S5 is a slightly stripped down version of the S6 and S5 Max while still maintaining all of the essential features. The S5 has a less advanced navigation and doesn't have room by room cleaning. However, beyond that, it's similar to Roborock's other flagship models. It has the same runtime, suction, dustbin, battery, and square foot coverage as the Roborock S6. The Roborock S4 is a more basic version of the S6. Notably, the S4 does not have a mopping attachment, so it's a vacuum only. However, that is the primary feature you give up by going with the S4. The S4 has the same runtime battery suction and square foot coverage as the S6. The Roborock E35 is one of Roborock's older and more basic models. Its navigation is simpler, no laser navigation, no memory map, and it uses the more typical bump and continue style of cleaning. It still includes the mopping attachment and has the same suction and runtime compared to the S6. Even though it's a few years old, it's a solid robot at a reasonable price point. The Roborock E25 is the simplest robot that Roborock builds. It uses a smaller battery and therefore has a shorter 100 minute runtime. In addition, the battery only allows it to cover 1500 square feet. For most users, we think it's worth spending the extra to get the E35. Nevertheless, the E25 is still a solid robot. We tested each Roborock model against four different debris types and against three different floor types. In our test, the S6 cleaning performance was pretty good at an 89%, but it did seem to struggle more than we would have expected on carpets. The S6 Max V was slightly better with a 92% overall. Its biggest struggle was with kitty litter on high pout carpet. The S5 Max was similar to what we saw on the S6, scoring a 91% overall. Like the S6, its greatest struggle was fine debris on carpet. The S5 scored the same as the S5 Max at 91% overall. The S5 was slightly better on low pile carpet and slightly worse on high pile carpet. The S4 was quite impressive in our cleaning test, scoring a 96% overall. 
its high carpet cleaning score was particularly notable at a 97%. Despite the price point, the S4 had the best high pile carpet cleaning score we've seen from Roborock. In our cleaning test, the E35 scored a solid 92% overall, struggling with smaller debris like sugar and kitty litter on high carpet. For the E25, cleaning performance was still good. In our test, it scored an 89% overall, with a perfect 100% on hardwood, but a lower score on high pile carpet. We've got standalone reviews on all the products that we're featuring today, so check those out at moderncastle.com if you want more information. As far as navigation, we've mentioned the S series models use laser navigation, while the E series models do not. This means the E series robots will seem a little more sporadic in their cleaning patterns, but they still get the job done. The higher end S series models have advanced navigation and digital mapping technology. The maps are generated directly on the Roborock app and show a digital representation of current robot status and cleaning history. You can use your finger to draw no-go zones, which tell the Roborock not to clean past that point on the map. One of the most impressive new features on the S6 max -V is its obstacle recognition and avoidance. The dual cameras allow it to detect objects in its path. The technology recognizes the objects, and the robot avoids the obstacles entirely, preventing it from getting stuck. When it comes to accessories, the S4 is the most basic package offered. The S4 comes with a charging station, dustbin, spiral brush roll, HEPA filter, and cleaning tool. The E25 and E35 include all of the same accessories as the S4, but also add several accessories related to the mopping features, like the mopping reservoir, mopping pad, and moisture-proof mat. The S5, S5 Max, S6, and S6 Max V all include all of the aforementioned accessories as well as additional mopping pads and filters. So, which Roborock is the best choice for you? If you're looking for the best performance, choose the S6 Max V. It's the latest model, and while it is the most expensive, it boasts highly advanced navigation and obstacle avoidance. Add that to the ability to mop and vacuum, and the S6 Max V is an incredibly capable robot. If you're looking for the best value, I'd recommend the Roborock S5 Max. Despite the fact that it's less expensive than the S6, it performed better in our cleaning tests across the board. It has all the same features as the S6, but also offers improved mopping. For most users, the S5 Max is going to be the better choice. If you want the best budget-friendly Roborock, go with the E35. Although the navigation is less advanced, it still offers good cleaning performance, app control, and two-in-one mopping capability. It's a great value at a lower price point. Well, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Comments or questions, please drop us those notes down below. If you're interested in buying any of the products we featured in today's video, we've got links in the description. If you'd like to see more from Modern Castle, be sure to get subscribed and visit us over at moderncastle.com. As always, thank you so much for watching.